This is Princess Cruise's brand new Sun Princess. She is the first in the Sphere class ships and she was launched this year in February and we're going to have a little look around to see what she has to offer. Starting in the dome, which is a bit of a multi-use venue, you can have activities during the day, there are shows in the night, there's Cirque du Soleil shows, the seating is on a first come first serve basis and be aware there are some queues, there's a lovely bar for you to grab a drink and here you will also find part of the indoor pool. It goes inside and outside, it's fully air conditioned inside, it's all temperature controlled and it's amazing. The next entertainment venue we're going to is Princess Live. From meeting up for your excursions to playing bingo, they have comedians on here and musical artists. It all happens in this venue and even if you just wanted to sit and enjoy a quiet drink, you can also do that here. Heading into Princess Arena, this is an absolute showstopper. It's the most technologically advanced in the whole of the princess fleet and it can even shape shift into different designs for different types of performances when we arrive to our muster station that black curtain was up but when that drops it gives it a whole new look spread over two decks deck seven and eight my first impressions were that it was smaller than other arenas or theaters than i've seen on other ships but honestly Every night that we were in there, there never seemed to be a full capacity. There was always some empty seats, so it's definitely worthwhile. And I'll go into it a bit later. I think that was because there's so much going on around the ship and so many choices for you to have in other areas as well. Next, we have the casino. This was a lovely big space. However, it was meant to be half of it smoking, half of it non-smoking. But obviously, if you've got People smoking in half of the room is going to carry through to the whole room. So a bit controversial of me, but I'm a non-smoker and I wasn't a fan of that. On to the piazza. Now, this is probably my favourite place in the whole of the ship. And the technology there is amazing. What I will say is there is always something going on here, whether it's game shows, music, live music or just dancing i could honestly sit here for hours hours and hours and because of the things that are around it you've got the coffee shops the dining areas the shops are just off it it's a perfect location because you're always bypassing it and you always get to see what's going on and you never miss a thing there's even a sneak preview of the cirque du soleil show and it was spectacular these aerial artists have absolutely no fear at all. There's not a crash mat. There is nothing below them, just the hard tiled floor. Now, the good thing about the piazza is it spans over three decks and it is practically 360 degrees. So wherever you are, you can see and you've got an amazing view. I mentioned the areas surrounding the piazza. This is just one of the venues. The staff here are great. It's called Coffee Currents. And if you want to sit here and just take in the view of the outside, you can do that. There are doors that you can access the deck, the outside deck. Or if you want to sit here and watch the shows, listen to the music because they have live bands playing, you can also do that as well. Princess Go is located on deck nine around the piazza. Here you've got the Photoshop and Shore Excursions team handy if you've forgotten a memory card or you want to discuss what trips you can go on. Oceanfront is the place you can buy any medallion accessories, whether you want a necklace or a watch. This is the place you can get that from.
The shops of Princess span over two decks and here passengers can explore a massive selection of premium brands from fine jewellery and watches to fashion and leisure wear. There's also lots of beauty and wellness products, accessories. They even have pop-up shops and keep an eye out as well because the pop-up shops that will happen outside the shops you will find lots of discounted items. They have sale days. So keep your eyes peeled for those because they often have very, very good offers. On deck 18 you will find a photo studio and opposite that a fitness studio and this fitness studio has got things like yoga, pilates, spin classes and then some health seminars. Then there is the fitness centre which is on pool deck as well. Deck 18 it faces the upper pool deck and that's got weight machines, treadmills and other fitness equipment. Still on deck 18, on the other side of the ship, you will find Lotus Salon and this is for all things glam. Kroonas Bar is a princess favourite. Located just off the piazza on deck 8, you'll find lots of signature martinis, old school cocktails, along with live piano music and other instruments. There was violinists on there while we were there, a saxophonist, beautiful light in here and lovely decor. It is definitely a lovely relaxing place on this ship. Bellini's Cocktail Bar is the main bar serving the Piazza area. It's got a signature cocktail menu which is inspired by the spirits in Italy and the drinks here include staple drinks like Prosecco, other things with fresh ingredients and limoncello. 
Again, this is somewhere that you can sit and relax. You can watch the ocean if you're sailing. You can listen to whatever's going on in the piazza area. It is a perfect location for you to just relax and enjoy. Next, we are headed into O'Malley's, which is the Irish bar. And when the musicians are playing, the atmosphere gives you the feeling of any bar or pub that you'd find anywhere in Ireland, I'm sure. Well, I have been and I can say that it absolutely is like that. Crown Grill is located on deck 7, opposite Princess Live and it is Princess Cruise's signature steak restaurant. Horizons Dining Room you will find on Deck 6 and Deck 7. Traditional Dining on Deck 6 and Flexible Dining on Deck 7. This main dining room is considered complimentary, or if you don't like that word, it is included in your cruise fare. Reservations for this dining room can be made either on the app or when you're on board the ship. Umai Teppanyaki. For me, this was the outstanding venue on board. This was the place we went to twice because we had such an amazing experience the first time. It was like having a show, an exclusive show, while you're eating. It was absolutely phenomenal. And if I could recommend somewhere not to miss on the ship, this would definitely be it. So much fun. <laughs> This next area I'm going to show you is something we kind of stumbled across. It was tucked out of the way and it is the Spellbound Dining Room. So this is where you go before you have your Spellbound experience. Or I should say part of the Spellbound experience because you have a meal before going through to the secret area. And for those not familiar with what Spellbound is, Princess have worked in collaboration with the Magic Castle to bring you this amazing experience. Sabatini's is an Italian trattoria or trattoria, however you want to pronounce it. And I missed a trick because I didn't realise that just to the right of that sign, there was somebody making fresh pasta. Didn't realise it until I was off the ship. But this is an amazing restaurant. We went here for a meal and it was very, very high standard. It is a specialty restaurant, so it is an extra cost restaurant. And that cover charge is $45 when I was on board. Obviously, if you are sailing, please check the prices because they may differ. Staying with the Italian theme, this is Alfredo's Pizzeria and you'll find this located on deck nine around the piazza area. Again, it's a specialty restaurant and the cover charge for this will vary depending on what package you have or you can opt into a three course meal, which includes a starter, a main course and a dessert for $14.99. Butcher's Block by Dario and Catch by Rudy let me let you in on a little secret. It's probably not that big a secret, but I'm going to tell you anyway. These are both just off the eatery. And in the mornings when the eatery is very busy, if you go through here, you will notice you can get the same breakfast or more or less the same. And it's very, very quiet. So this will be a little tip for you. Formerly known as Kai Sushi, Makoto Ocean is located on deck eight next to the piazza and is one of the venues that you've got amazing views from the sphere out looking onto the beautiful ocean if you're sailing. 
The menu is sushi and sashimi with a huge array of choices and you can also watch everything being prepared because the kitchen area is right next to the restaurant area. Just opposite Princess Live and in between O'Malley's and the Crown Grill, you will find the gelateria. This is extra cost. If ever you get hungry on your cruise, and I laugh when I say that, this is the place that you will come to. This is where you've got snacks available 24-7, whether it be a sandwich or a little piece of cake. Beverages are also available, but they are an additional cost. The other exciting thing you will find in International Cafe is the Sea Walk. Now this is indoor on this ship, on the Royal Class ships it is outdoor. And for me this is definitely not as scary as when you are outdoor and all you can see below you is the sea. Let me know in the comments if you ever done the Sea Walk. So here we have a fun interactive globe. It is located in an international cafe in the seating area. I was just having a play with it and didn't realise that all the gold balls that you see are actually the ports that Princess Cruises docks at. And if you press passport, it shows you where you've been on your travels. Firefly Park is just one of the fantastic kids areas on the Sun Princess. It is for 0 to 6 year olds. Let's have a look inside. Neon Grove is the Tweens Club. It is from 7 to 12 years old, located on deck 7, just next to the Princess Arena, which is very handy. The staff here are highly trained and amazing. There is an action-packed programme offered. The areas are amazing. They've got vibrant sofas, games consoles, foosball, air hockey. And if none of that is enough, there's gaming tournaments and scavenger hunts. They have movie nights and discos. So many things going on for your little ones while they're on their cruise. Underground is the lively space for teenagers up to the age of 17. And the same as the other two rooms, run by really highly experienced staff that are fantastic with the children. And this centre is fully equipped with everything from the latest video games and movies to art and craft, foosball table, board games, music and lots of other activities to keep them entertained. Next, we're going to have a little look at the pools and the pool deck. Now, this one was one of my absolute favourites that I nearly didn't find. It's kind of tucked away. It's not secret, but I didn't find it until after I'd been on board for almost a week. So make sure you don't miss it because this is where the infinity pool is and the view of the wake, which I don't know about you, but is my absolute favourite when I am on a ship. There's a bar there, there's lovely seating areas here, they've got the lounges but also the big egg kind of chairs, so relaxing and look at that 
view. For me, this is 100% what cruising is about. It's about being in the moment, relaxing, watching the wake and just enjoying every second of being on board. This next pool is the other side of the dome. So this is Sivu Bar and the pool is here opposite the bar. There's a huge seating area with lounges and plenty of chairs with tables. You can relax here. The other thing I loved about this area is that it's covered over. You still get the wind, but not as much. It fills up fast on sea days, so be sure to get there early if you know you want to spend lots of time here. But don't forget, don't reserve those sunbirds because I did see lots of people doing that and not even using them. But we're not going to go into that now. Going through to the main pool area, you'll find here two large pools, lots of dining options, and there's also the all-important jacuzzis. Here you'll find coffee and cones and the basic ice cream cones are complimentary or included and you will find that if there's anything else you want, ice cream sandwiches or any of the drinks that are available, there will be charges for those. There's plenty of seating available here whether you want it in the sun or in the shade and there are lounges and chairs available. And while it looks lovely and quiet while I'm filming this, obviously it does get very busy at peak times. This was recorded when Mockingbird, which is the house band, were playing on the pool deck and they are phenomenal. We don't need to listen to much more of that with me singing along. And I'm going to take you to the sanctuary. Now this is an extra cost. It is $79 when you're in port or $99 when you're at sea. And I should probably make clear that that is per person. There are quiet private areas, each with lounges and a sofa, or general areas with lounges and other seating areas. Next, we're going to have a look at the eateries on the pool deck. Now, these were grab-and-go venues. There was plenty of them. There was a lovely salad bar, a taco bar, pizzas, burgers, so much choice. And I say burgers, there was hot dogs as well. It was really well organised. If it was too busy, you'd get given a buzzer and that would vibrate when your food was ready. And the good thing about that, obviously, is that you're not hanging around waiting. You can just go and grab a drink, sit down and relax while you are waiting. My absolute favourite place up here was the salad bar. And I know when you've got all that choice on this huge ship, that might be a bit of a strange one, but the salads there were so good. Yes, I had a lot of sauce, but I was having leaves. <laughs> I'm on my holidays. Now, quite possibly, by the time anybody is watching this, a lot of this will already be gone because this is Park 19 and I know that while we were on board, they started dismantling it. The seating areas with the hammocks and things was lovely, so hopefully that will stay. And the last food venue that I'm going to show you, but by no means least, is the eatery. This is a buffet with a difference. So they've changed the way they do things. As you can see, they've all got glass cabinets on them. So you're not helping yourself. The staff are there to help you. They've got the tongs and everything their side. So whatever you want, you ask them. They will put it on a plate for you and then they will hand it to you. You can take that plate around and just add on whatever you want. So not a massive difference in that the food is the same. It's just the experience is slightly different. 
and personally for me I found it a lot better and just one other point a bugbear of mine please wash your hands and for those of you crazy enough to want to do your laundry while you're on your holidays or it may be that you're on a longer holiday you will find passenger laundries on most of the decks if you got this far a massive thank you for watching and if you like the video please consider subscribing i've got lots of sun princess content coming your way thank you again i will see you in the next one